Hello friends, you are watching a Rudire Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. Let's get started. Hello yes, today I will solve a simple finite element problem using ANSYS mechanical epidural. You can see the model, it is a plate with a central hole and we have to apply pressure at the extreme right hand side. We have to find out the location of the maximum stress inside this plate. We are solving this problem using symmetric boundary conditions. We need not model all this component. We will model one fourth part of that plate and, and by using symmetric boundary conditions, we will solve it. So, we are taking the one fourth part of this plate. It is a rectangle of 75 by 40 millimeter. So, without wasting time, let us start modeling using ANSYS mechanical epidural. Preprocessor, it will be a static structural analysis. Okay. Next to that, we have to select element types and that to be added. We can select solid element and by default it is considering quad 40182 element and element type reference number is one. We consider this one as a axis symmetry problem. So from options, we can provide thickness to this plate. It is a plane stress problem with a thickness. Okay. Thickness to be provided from real constants. Let us consider the thickness of this plate to be 10 millimeter. Okay. Close it. Next to that, we have to provide material properties, material models, structural, linear, elastic, and isotropic. It is having modulus of elasticity as 2E5 and Poisson ratio as 0 0.3. Okay. Let's close it. Now we have to model that plate. It will be started with modeling and we have to create some areas, rectangular areas to be created from rectangle. You can create by two corners. We are planning to start this sketch from origin and with, let us see the drawing. It is having width of 75 millimeter and height 40. So width is 75 millimeter and height is 40 millimeter. Okay. The rectangular part is made. Now at the lower left corner, we have to provide a circular portion that will be having a radius of 15 millimeter at the lower left corner. So we can start on circle, solid circle. It will be started at the origin. So radius equal to 15 millimeter. Okay. It is done. Now the thing is this circular part to be subtracted from this main rectangular part. It can be done from operate booleans subtract areas for subtraction we have to select all the areas okay next to that we have to subtract that part which needs to be eliminated this circular part to be eliminated so selected okay it is done we got the actual profile. Now we have to mesh it. For meshing, easiest option is mesh tool. We can mesh it with spot size on. Let us mesh it. Pick all. Meshing is done. But we need to modify mesh. Define at all. Okay, we can refine it again 
to have better accuracy. Refinement is done. Now it is okay. We can go for applying boundary conditions, right? And for applying boundary conditions, we will start with loads. Define loads. Apply structural displacement. And we have to apply symmetric boundary conditions because we are considering one fourth of the model. Symmetric boundary conditions on lines. This one and this one and this one will be working as symmetric boundary lines. Okay. Next to that. We have to apply a pressure of 100 megapascal at the extreme right hand side. We can start pressure from here. Pressure on lines. You can select that line. Okay. It will be 100 megapascal and sign will be negative as it is going out. Okay. Pressure is applied. Next, we have to solve it. We can solve it from solution. Solve current ls. If everything is right, it will show solution is done. Solution is done, so everything is right. We can see our results from general force processing. Initially, we want to see results from Plot results, deformed shape, deformed plus undeformed. That means we want to see the original shape together with the deformed shape by the application of load. We can see this object in 3D format also from plot controls, style, size and shape, display of elements should be on. Now the model is 3D, we can have asymmetric view of this one. So it is a 3D model right now. It is shown that by the application of load or pressure, object is deformed. Next, we are to see displacement of defined nodes. That can be viewed from control plot, node solution, do solution, and displacement vector sum. Let us see from front view. It is showing that maximum displacement is occurring at the extreme right hand side and it is in the range of 0.046709 millimeter. And minimum displacement occurs at the left hand side, it is in the range of 0.011822 millimeter. You can view this results in the form of listing also. So List results, nodal solution, DF solution, displacement beta sum. We are having huge numbers of nodes. Totally, we are having 769 numbers of nodes. And in that, maximum displacement occurs at node number 1, which is in the range of 0.467 into 10 to the power minus 1 millimeter. We can see that some different nodes are having different types of displacements. Next we are going to find out nodal stresses, stress, one is the stress, okay, it is showing that maximum stress is occurring at node number 5 which is 357.55 megapascal. We can view this one in the form of plotting also. Let us see plot results. Can do plot. Node solution and we will see one with stress. Okay. 
it is showing maximum stress is occurring at this location blood controls and zoom rotate we can identify that location so that means this point is having maximum stress right So this is all about our today's analysis. In this analysis, we have considered one rectangular plate with a central hole, and we have applied a pressure at the extreme right hand side, and we identified the location of maximum stress on this plate. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you again. Bye. If you like this video, please subscribe and share. And if you have any kind of doubts, please write to me. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you again. Bye.